so I'm doing my speech on controlling the controllables and next play mentality. That's kind of a mental point of view. Yeah. yeah. It's like a mental aspect. The mental aspect, the mental part of being an athlete. And what I want to do is inform people kind of on ways they can handle those situations and inform people how much power they truly hold over their minds using one of my personal favorite books, Stay Sane in an Insane World by Greg Harden. Kind of, it's Stay Sane in an Insane World, How to Control the Controllables and Thrive. Um, Because as athletes, we always go through, you always say, we always, when we're doing fine, everything's good. It's when we hit those walls is where we mentally can kind of, that's where we kind of get iffy. Now, because we kind of, I know personally, confidence can start to waver. You can kind of question everything, and you kind of just want to figure out how how do I snap out of that. And in his book, he gives so many tips on how to handle that, and so I want to inform people on that. Also, I've learned a lot of stuff here at Robert, just playing different sayings, acronyms that Coach Cliff and the staff has been using. So that's working with Next Play Mentality. Not only does it refer to being an athlete, but also it plays a role in life as well. You can get fired from a job and you can decide whether to go lay on the couch for three days and not do anything, or you can decide to just keep going and look harder that same day. Just keep moving. Basically, it's just a keep moving. You can't let that point second of a missed shot. It takes point five seconds to shoot, to do anything. If you let that miss or anything or that mistake last longer than that, that's when it starts to that's when it starts to play on the mind, and it says that's where it starts to that's where it starts to bother people, and that's where you know people start looking upset, start getting frustrated, and I don't think people really understand like there's more to life than their sport, and it's important to find that balance. Like okay. I did this in the game. Okay, I, I know not to do that. I can do this. And instead of letting that that one mistake affect that person that whole day, you realize your mistake, you figure out how you can nip in the butt, and then you move on. So now you're okay to keep going through the day. You're not sulking. You're not trying to be by yourself. You're not just mentally just, I would, and mentally just, not mentally harming yourself in a sense with all those negative thoughts. Um, and I think it's important, another thing is important how we talk to ourselves because one thing my coach had taught us is that, that I'm, I think is very great, is that talk to yourself how you talk to others. So I'm not going to walk around, oh, the way I talk to myself when I make a mistake is not how, I would never say that to my teammate or the person next to me or my coworkers. So why would you talk to yourself like that? They're human. You're just, a, you're human as well. So don't talk. If you know that it would hurt them, imagine it's hurting you as well. So I think it's just be mindful of that, of how important words are. And it's important to realize that to, it's important to understand the power that you hold over your mind. And what I mean by that is kind of people can say something and it's up to you to decide how much power you're going to let that person have. So if somebody walks, if you have a shirt on, and you're sitting there, oh, man, I love this shirt. And somebody goes, oh, I hate that shirt. Okay, you can decide from that comment, are you going to let what they say bother you, or are you going to still walk around with that confidence you just had on, with that same confidence you had when you were wearing that shirt 0.5 seconds ago? It's up to you. But that's something you can control. You can control how you, how you will let people affect you and what they say affect you. Yeah, so... I think my main message is kind of to inform people on, as athletes, as well as regular people, on how important, how important the mind is, and how important, how important it is to get ahead of it, and how important it is to control it, because you can control how you think about yourself, but you can't control about how other people think about you. So it's important to be in agreement with that person you look at in the mirror, rather than try to go against them.